Hi, it's Pamela. In this tutorial, we're going to use Doodly to share a poem on social media. Hey, and welcome to the official Doodly YouTube channel. If you enjoy our content, please click the like and subscribe button below. Now let's get straight to the video. Summer's almost over, but I'm going to take a trip down memory lane before it's gone for good with a poem. I was working with a client a few weeks ago and she used a much more profound poem than this one and her final video was amazing, so I wanted to share this idea with you. Whether you're a poet, a life coach, a yoga teacher, whoever, you can use Doodly to create beautiful social media posts based on your poems and they're sure to be enjoyed by your followers. In my example today, we're going to go with something short and sweet with some summertime memories. Now you'll see my poem here and I have it I just imported it on a photograph so you can kind of see what I have in mind for it. I want it to be in this vertical format and then I just want a beach background and I'm going to do a voiceover and have the text come on with my voice. So it's going to be quite simple. So the first thing that we're going to want to do is set up our video so that it's in this vertical format. So let's go back to my videos and we're going to start from scratch. Let's give it a name. And right here where it says resolution, click this. We're going to go down to custom and we want it to be 1080 wide by 1920 tall. So basically we're flipping the standard 1920 by 1080 into onto its side. Now you notice how my numbers changed. So you need to uncheck that box. So sorry about that 1080 by 1920. And we want to make sure this box is not checked. And you'll see the vertical format. Click create. And now it's ready for our background. Okay, so now we have our vertical canvas and we're ready to import our beach background. So go over to the props tab and import your image by clicking the plus sign and then browsing for your file. And before I do anything, I'm going to click this little gear icon and I'm going to turn the opacity down to 40% and that's just going to fade it out quite a bit so it's kind of bleached out. And then I'm just going to go ahead and, oh, one more thing I want to do, click the pencil icon. I'm going to change it from draw to fade and that way it's just going to fade on real nice. Now I'm just going to position it enlarge it. That looks good. And I think I'm going to go for a pretty quick fade, maybe 1.5 seconds. And then let's add our text. For this first one, I want it large, almost like it's a title. And then we'll go with a smaller and different font for each of the other lines. I'll arrange these and enlarge them a bit after I have them all typed in. It's just easier to do after the fact. Normally I don't do a lot of just text heavy doodly videos, but I think it will work nicely in this example. Okay, so I have all of the lines of text control clicking to select them all. Now I can enlarge them together. I'm paying the most attention to this line here, the sound of waves crashing against the shoreline, because I want that to fit on one line. So that's about as big as I can get it. I'm going to look for a different font that's maybe a little bit more condensed. Yeah, let's go with Christy. And I'm just going to replace each one of these. That way I can make it a little bit larger. Once again, control click. Now, let's pay attention how large we can get. See, I can get much larger with this font than with the other. And I accidentally resized this one. And if you wanted, you could add your name at the bottom. So I could do that real quick. Or the date. And that's looking pretty nice. Fine, now let's add some narration. The timing is going to be a little bit off on the words as I do the narration and I will fix that after I record my voice. Go down here where there's a microphone, click this little plus sign 
click the red button when you're ready to start recording. Summer is almost over. I miss the days at the beach, watching seagulls in flight, looking for treasures on the sand, the sound of waves crashing against the shoreline, the smell of salt water and sunscreen. I miss the feeling of sand between my toes. I miss the companionship of friends and family and summer sun. Summer is almost over, but I won't forget those memories anytime soon. And then click stop. And then erase this part where I just said, and then click stop. Okay, so I just slide right over that and it's gone. And I wasn't watching the screen when I was recording that, so I don't know. Obviously, the timing is off because my voiceover is longer than the words. So all we have to do is go in and adjust the duration of each line to match the audio. So I like to go into this little preview window, get a little bit more control over what's going on with the audio here. Summer is almost over. I miss the days at the beach. Okay, so now, we move this over and slide it down. Summer is almost over. I miss the days at the beach, watching seagulls in flight, looking for treasures on the sand, the sound of waves. So she's going to say the sound of waves right here, I believe. The sound of waves. Yes. So we don't want this coming on just yet. We want to delay it. So that is the sound of waves crashing. So you come over here and you look for the sound of waves crashing. And we're just going to add a little bit of a delay. Okay, so this comes on, but I won't forget the memories anytime soon. Comes on fine, but it writes a little too fast. So let's make that a little bit slower. And then let's give, before my name comes on, let's give them some time to realize that the poem's over. So let's see. Summer is almost over, but I won't forget those memories anytime soon. Okay, so that's looking really good. So let's just do a few final things. Scene settings, let's add some time at the very end of the scene, say seven seconds. And then let's go ahead and hide preview. And finally, let's just add some background music or even birds chirping or something. I'm gonna pause the video and I'll be right back. Okay, so I've selected the song GIFs and I'm just going to drag it into place. And I'm going to turn the audio way down. Let's try 15%. And trim it a little bit. Beginning, slide it down. And then trim all this here at the end. So that it fits and then we want to right click at the end and choose fade out and I like a nice slow fade so I'm gonna make it really slow and before we finish up let's change the hand because the voice is a female voice and we want to have the hand style match the narration style so let's take this one. I think that one should be fine. And here we go. Summer is almost over. I miss the days at the beach, watching seagulls in flight, looking for treasures on the sand, the sound of waves crashing against the shoreline, the smell of salt water and sunscreen. I miss the feeling of sand between my toes. I miss the companionship of friends and family and summer sun. Summer is almost over but I won't forget those memories anytime soon. And that's the basics of using Doobly to share your poetry. Thanks for watching. Bye.